Hey everyone, this is Dion with Racers360. Today we're going to be talking about why can I not open my hands at corner exit? Do you feel like you're having to add steering input after the apex or even as you get out to the exit curb? Well, there's usually four main reasons for that. Number one, turn in too early. Number two, not using all of the track at turn in. Number three is too much entry speed. And then finally, number four is too early to initial throttle. So let's go ahead and cover the first one of these. So here on the left-hand side of the screen, we've got an example of a good turn-in. And notice here at the exit, at the bottom right there, the line ends up about mid-road, which is we're using turn four at VIR, where we want to sacrifice a little bit of exit. The second one, the one on the right there, is too early of a turn-in point. So you can see the red line there has an earlier and shallower turn-in point. Because of that, the car angle at the apex is a lot shallower. And if we're trying to bring in any speed at all, that is going to push us wide. It's going to make us go farther to the right at corner exit with the same amount of entry speed. So if you're finding that you're running out of road on exit, the number one thing I want you to think about is, am I turning too early? Can I fix this with a later turning point? The second point is, am I using all of the track at turning point? So again, on the left-hand side, we've got a good turning point. On the right there, we've got a yellow line. If you look closely, that yellow line isn't all the way to the outside of the road at turning, which is now making the radius of the corner tighter. So you might turn in from the same point, but if you're turning in from the same point, and a car width to the inside, you're going to have to turn in more aggressively. If we turn in more aggressively, we have to go slower. So when we try to roll more speed or the same amount of speed as the line on the left-hand side, but we're turning in from the, uh, an inside point on the corner, that's going to push us wide because we have too much speed for our radius of the corner. So really focus, am I aligned all the way to the outside of the track at turn in point? And then, we also want to focus on well, where am I picking up the throttle? We know from all of our other videos focused on weight transfer that when we get to the throttle, we take weight off the front end, which induces understeer, which means we ha might have to add steering input, or we're going to increase that understeer from corner apex to corner exit. So if you're aggressively getting the throttle before the apex point, you're going to be increasing your understeer mid-corner to corner exit, which means you're not going to be able to unwind the steering wheel. And then finally, if we're rolling too much entry speed, no matter how good our line is, our potential is we're going to overpower uh, the amount of grip we have on our front tires. The front tires are going to slide, and we're not going to be able to unwind the steering wheel likely lead. So if we go back to our good turning point here, if we turn in at that point, and we roll too much entry speed, we're either not going to be able to unwind the steering wheel, we're going to miss the apex by a little bit, we're not going to be able to get the throttle until the exit. So we really want to balance good turning points with good apex speeds. So now we've got a systematic approach that we can look at when we're not able to unwind the steering wheel. If you're finding that this is happening to you on the racetrack, I want you to run through these four questions. Am I turning in too early? If I am, bam, we've got it fixed. If I'm not, am I using all the track as I approach the corner? Yes or no? If that's a I am, then we're going to focus on, well, am I getting to throttle too early? If I'm not, well, then I know I just need to reduce my entry speed a little bit. Uh, so that's been the four main reasons that you're not able to unwind the steering wheel at corner exit. Hopefully this will allow you to maximize when you get back to full throttle, maximize those corner exits, and actually maximize your corner entries as well. Thanks for tuning in to Racers 360. We'll see you at the track soon.